Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing, something that came in um, from a group that I'm in, the Pass Around, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, so let's take a look, all right? Today I'm opening the box with my EMP EDC Nimble X. This is the version two with a black titanium handle. And Uh, M390 blade steel. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, cool. Thrasher's Garage, very cool. I, I'm thinking this is the pa pass around, probably the person behind me. And uh, very cool, that's some really neat stickers they got there. Wow, hopefully I get to keep one of them, that would be nice. All right, so this is a Sencut knife. This means this was given to us by Sencut uh, to the group. So thank you very much to Sencut for allowing us to see this. And along with that, all right, so this was given to us by Sencut and it's given to our Apex Pass Around group. So thank you to Sencut again. I wanted to say thank you. So I'm really excited to check out, check this, this knife out. This is the Fritch. I'm seeing if I'm saying that correctly, the Fritch. So typically they'll give you a little spreadsheet of the different ver uh, versions of it. So you have like, uh, looks like green micarta, JG10, and a, probably a brown micarta, uh, stone washed, black stone washed, and black stone washed, very cool. So canvas micarta, G10, and matrix micarta. All right, very cool. So if you're curious, here's a little bit about it, you know. It's gonna be pretty pretty nice little knife. So let's, let's take a look at this, okay? So make sure I don't damage the box. Let's kind of do that. All right, I'm gonna put the stickers out so it doesn't try to focus on that. All right, so nice little back package. This is my first time ever checking out a Sencut. So I'm very grateful to Sencut for allowing us to have a chance to look at these. So this is really exciting for me. All right, so here's a Sencut sticker. That's cool to know, they include that. And they have another Sencut sticker. What else do they have in here? They have cloth, just like you get with Wii and Civivi. That's very cool. So if you didn't know, Sencut is a one of the businesses under Wii, Civivi. So it's Wii, um, the high-end version, and you have Civivi, which is their low-end version. And this is supposed to be a budget line, the Sencut. So um, kind of like a little warranty guide and everything. So that's kind of cool. And what else do we say here? Looks like uh, know your knife, share your shopping experience. Very cool. So typical, you know, stuff that you get in there. That's very nice. So let's take a look at this knife. All right, so this is called the Fritch. F-R-I-T-C-H, Fritch. I hope I'm saying that correctly. All right, so this is the Matrix Micarta. So looks brown to me, but it's very nice. I do like the chamfering on here. So that's really cool, chamfered around the corners. Uh, deep pocket carry clip with recessed screws. That's very nice touch. Definitely like that because we want to recess those screws so it's easy in out of the pocket. Back spacers, got three of them. It's a flipper with a thumb stud. Very nice, very nice. And of course it has a little duckbill thing there, but you know, it's not too terribly bad. Uh, and I think this is a steel. Oh, where'd my magnet go? I had a magnet right here. Let me see if I have it without bumping the camera. Of course I'm bumping the camera, so. Well, we won't do it. We won't. We'll do it in a review. But uh, I suspect this is steel because you know Sencut's a budget line. So let's go ahead and flip this open and see what happens. All right, very nice. It's got a nice belly there. It looks like a. What do they call this? This is a reverse tanto, or is this considered a uh, blade type? They call it a spay point. I'm not sure I've ever heard that. All right, spay point to me, it looks like a modified reverse tanto, sort of pseudo sheep's foot. You know, uh, it's got a nice wedge here at the very tip, a sort of swedge, that's flat up here, but that's the swedge up here. It's kind of a nice flat grind goes, let's see how thin that edge is. It, it, it's not a super thin slicer, but it's not, it's not, uh, it's not uh, super thick, right? I mean, the blade is not gigantic. I do like the thumb studs. Those are easy to deal with. It is a liner lock. So let's see the engagement. Looks like we're a good 50% there. So let's go ahead and see how it drops. The action's pretty good. That's not bad. Let's do the thumb stud. Nice, nice. Can we do the reverse? 
Oh, let's make sure we get it. Yeah, we can. Just got to make sure you get in there well. Let's see how's the centering. I mean, this is being passed around. Lots of people get and handle this. So we're not supposed to do anything like take it apart. We're not, nothing like that is supposed to occur. The most you can do is put a little bit of oil in there and not do any heavy use, any heavy testing at all. I mean, you might be able to cut a piece of paper, but that would be it, right? Nothing else. So, all right. So what do we have? Okay. So it doesn't look like it's capped to pivot. So you know, that was def definitely would be a cost savings things, but these look like T8s though. T8s all around here. Uh, T8s, T8s, and I think, yeah, those are probably T6s for sure. So T6s. All right. It looks like a sand wash. This is what they call a stone wash, sand wash. What do they call the, uh, I'm just trying to read here. Black. Okay. So this is the stone wash. This would be the stone washed finish. Okay. So I guess you can sort of see that. There's a little, you know, small things in there, little small indentations from the, the rocks or, or the stones. And what that does, it allows it to have better wear and it doesn't, uh, when scratches and things don't show up more quickly. So that's nice. All right. I do like the blade shape. It looks like, you know, it's a little over three inches. So, you know, if you're in California, you just got to be aware of that. The overall length of this knife is going to be about seven inches, just a hair over seven inches. We'll go ahead and, you know, we'll talk about that in the review. The action is not bad. I mean, you know, for a budget line, Steel liners, obviously, with a liner lock that engages. Let's see, any blade rock? Eh, it's a little blade rock. We might see if that has something to do if it's loose. So let's let's just check that real quick. We we'll just we can tighten it just a little bit. We're not going to modify it or anything uh, because we just want to make sure you know we don't want the screws to fall out while we have it, right? So we want to just do very gentle. All right, so all right, so it did move a little bit. Let's see the other side. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's better. All right, so that's that's much better. So I'm going to move the screws out of the way. All right, so no blade rock now. It was a little loose. I definitely felt it kind of move there. Uh, I'm sure if once you get this, you can put a little oil in there. There's things that if you buy one of these, you can tune the detent if you want that as well. But, I mean, for a budget line, this is super, super smooth. And uh, I believe the MSRP that they were they were shooting for on this one is going to be around. Well, the MSR, MSRP is going to be around for this one's going to be fifty four fifty, and uh, probably will sell maybe for around forty six thirty five or something like that, right? So that's that's about the price um, for the knife. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, that's a great budget line. I mean, let's see what what's the blade steel on here. Let's take a look. All right, so it's right there. Can we can we see that? So this is not. Oh, I'm gonna. I can't read that. That's too small. Let me see what. It, see if my little spreadsheet here. Okay, so this is 9CR18 MOV. So it's 9CR18 MOV. So it's better than the 8CR, which means you know it's a little bit better. Um, I don't know much about 9CR, so I'm going to assume that's close to maybe 14C28N or maybe nitro, nitro, um, nitro steel or, or something like that, right? So I don't know. Um, I'll have to do a little research on that, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely take a look. So let's, let's get a close up of this here. All right. So you can definitely see the blade shapes, definitely got a little belly to it, which kind of makes it look like a sheep's foot, but it's a very sharp corner. So it's like a reverse Tonto. So maybe a modified sheep's foot reverse tanto, but they call it a, <laughs> a spay point. I don't know what that is. Never heard that term. So we'll just, uh, we'll just go with that. Uh, I do like this matrix micarta. I'm not a big micarta fan. You all know that I would get the JG 10 for sure. But, uh, I mean, it is kind of interesting looking for sure. So it's matrix, which means I guess it's kind of woven together. I'm assuming something like that. Definitely reversible pocket uh, clip, by the way. So it's lefties rejoice. It's definitely a lefty righty um, uh, friendly. That's really, really cool. Um, what else do we got here? Yeah. So there's nice jimping here. We don't have any jimping on the back spine. So when you grip it, you know, it's going to be okay. You could sort of choke up like a trigger, you know, trigger right there, but you got to be careful because you're real close to the edge. So I'd be real cautious with that. But I have medium, medium, large hands, so I get full four fingers. I'm right at the edge. So if you have extra large hands, I think you're going to go over it. You might, this will become like a third, probably a three, three and a half finger kind of knife. If you have extra large, um, double extra large hands, you're definitely going to be two to three fingering this one here. But so it's a nice compact knife for larger hands, but for medium to medium large hands, I think you're going to be fine. It'll be like a, you get four, 
get a full presentation on this. So I'm large width-wise and I'm medium length-wise. So I can get full fingers on there. I mean, it's right at the very edge. I don't know if you can see that. So, I mean, this is the maximum where I could go. But you definitely could use that for cu cutting. It's got a nice belly. You can, you know, certainly do some slicing with that, which is really, really nice. I like that. It's very cool. I do like the, the button, uh, the thumb studs. They are, you know, volcanoed, so it's really nice and it's uh, easy to work with. Definitely gives you some traction, easy to get underneath there. So we can get under here, definitely deploy here, left-handed. The nice thing about a liner lock, it always works really well for a lefty. So you can obviously reverse that. And when you switch the clip, you can get a little better traction over here to do the reverse where here I kind of have to hold on to it on the left side. So that's nice. And the, the flipper works pretty good. I mean, I would call this probably medium to medium heavy detent uh, for sure on this one. So there's gonna be a detent ball and this is definitely has detent uh, on it. So for sure, let's, let's see how the lock goes into the detent. Okay, so that's pretty good. Yeah, no, no, no detent lash or any detent rocker or whatever you call it here, detent wiggle. It's in there nicely and still nice dead centered after I, I tighten it up just a hair. All I did was just a hair because it was loose. You could feel it kind of, it was had gotten loose probably in transport with the vibration traveling and stuff. I'm sure that is the case. So I, I won't put any, um, typically if this was my knife, I would put a little, um, you know, Loctite or something like that on here, you know, but this, this is a pass around, so I can't do that. But that would help with the, uh, the, the screw not loosening out like that. And, uh, you know, we want to we want to preserve the experience as the original OEM, the original knife coming from the manufacturer. So this is really cool. So thank you to Sencut for, for letting us take a look at this. I like this. I mean, for the for the price range of what you're paying, I mean, this is really good. It's definitely better. I think, I think the nine R, the nine CR, sorry, eighteen MOV is a better steel than like the D two ingot steel. Um, of course, it all comes back to the heat treat and everything, right? And I think their heat treat goal for this one, does it say on here? No, it doesn't say on here. All right, but I, I suspect that you know they're, they're going to be pretty pretty spot on. So. Definitely has a nice edge. It's a it's a very th thin edge. You can see that. So you know I'll do a little close up here so you can see the Sincut knife uh, again with the screws, and we can look at the back spacer. Yeah, and the screws there. So all that is really nice. And you can see the liner lock going in, and then you can see the the standoffs back there with the line with the with the liner in there. And then you can see the thumb studs right there with the blade. Comes to a pretty thin tip, so you definitely can do a little pokey if you need to get into some fertilizer, mulch, or dog food, cat food. It'll definitely do the job as far as that's concerned. So that's that's really nice. So, you know, you'll be able to enjoy that. Sorry, I had to turn off my phone. It was beeping there. Uh, so, um, yeah, I like this. We're definitely going to, you know, handle this a little bit and get a feel for it and see what, what we, what you know how this turns out i mean i'll tell you for a sin cut for a budget knife this i so far i'm i'm impressed you know it is smaller so you do have to take that into account if you want a larger knife this is definitely may not be for you but um definitely fits medium to medium large hands so i would say that um otherwise you know we will definitely do a, a full review take a few days you know um flick it around and and kind of feel how it is i'll I'll put it in my pocket just to kind of feel going in and out of the pocket. I won't carry it, obviously, because it's not my knife to use. But uh, definitely will get a better feel for it as I handle it here at my desk for, for a couple of days just to, to kind of understand understand the knife. I do like I do like the action. For, I mean, for the price point, I mean, everything is, is you know, I'll give a little spoiler. I mean, it's, it's good so far. I'm not, not disappointed or, like, you know, shocked at all. I mean, it's, it's a good... It's a good basic knife. You know, if you need to get someone a knife, this would be it, you know? Um, so there we are. All right, so hey, if you enjoyed this and, and you, like the, you like my stuff, would you consider hitting the, the like button? Um, and then if you've already hit the like button, maybe hit the uh, subscribe button. Um, subscribing and liking the videos really, really helps out the channel a lot and it allows me to produce more content. And if you've already subscribed, maybe consider hitting the notification button down there. You can be notified of future content when I drop it. And if you've done all that, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's robs underscore nerdy underscore knives on Instagram. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.